Hi everybody, Thionin and Norton theorems are the you know most popular theorems used in circuit theory, used in network analysis, used in analog electronics and simplifying the complex circuits, you know big circuits into simple circuit. As you can see that Thionin equivalent circuit simply converts the entire circuit or a given circuit into a simple equivalent circuit consisting of a single voltage source in series with resistance, what we call as Thionin voltage and Thionin resistance. And just the duality of Thionin theorem is the Norton theorem where what do we do? We convert the entire network into a single simple circuit consisting of a current source in series with a resistance called as, you know, Norton current and Norton resistance respectively. Let us understand about Thionin theorem and Norton theorem and also let us understand with the help of one example for each. So Thionin theorem, as I mentioned you, any linear network, any two terminal linear network can be replaced by an equivalent circuit having a voltage source in series with a resistance. As you can see that there is a linear two terminal circuit that is being replaced by a single voltage source in series with a resistance, what is called as Thionin resistance. So uh, the Thionin resistance is the open circuit voltage between the two, across the two terminals where you are determining the Thionin voltage and Thionin resistance is nothing but the equivalent resistance of the network when you actually calculate between the two terminals with, where you are interested to determine the Thionin equivalent circuit. Sometimes we also call that Thionin resistance is the internal resistance of the given network. Thionin resistance is the resistance seen from the terminals when you are seeing that how much resistance is offered by the network when you are seeing from the terminals you will feel that. And this is nothing but, you know, the property of linear uh, network when the, the relationship between current and voltage is linear, we will, you will say that the elements which are there uh, are, you know, linear and therefore the network is linear. So the condition is linear two port network and this can be equivalently converted into a single voltage source in, in series with the resistance called as Thevenin resistance. So how to determine the uh, Thionin uh, voltage? Very simple, wherever you are interested to determine the Thionin voltage, just keep it open circuit and determine the voltage and that is open circuit voltage, that is Thionin voltage. And uh, why it is, you know, needed, why, why this is the process? Because there is a load connected between the terminals A and B. So when you assume some current, you know, that voltage will not be the actual voltage, what you are looking for the internal voltage offered by the network equivalently, you know, and therefore make it open circuit and determine the voltage across the terminals because of this network. And that is we want due to the network, not due to the load. If we consider some current due to the load also, something will be added. How to determine the Thionin resistance? It is the resistance seen by, you know, the, 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 the load uh, from the, when you see from the circuit. So what is the process? In the network, uh, the, the, the voltage and current sources which are present, energy sources, just turn off them. Otherwise, they will be contributing their resistances. We want the actual resistance of the network, of course, excluding the resistances of voltage and current source. So let's not consider them and let's turn off the energy sources and determine the resistance offered by the network. As you can see that we will replace all the independent sources equal to zero means the current sources will be replaced by open circuit and voltage sources will be replaced by short circuit. And then what you can do, you can simply apply the series parallel combination, uh, you know, uh, seeing from terminals A and B and determine the resistance. That's so simple. If there is any dependent source present in the network, you know, you can determine the Thionin resistance like this. You can connect either a voltage source or a current source and uh, determine VO divided by IO and you can calculate the Thionin resistance. Why it is needed? Because if you have dependent source and uh, you know, and when you are interested to determine Thionin resistance, that variable which is there in the dependent source, that will not uh, actually allow you to calculate Thionin resistance. So you have to turn off the independent sources also. And when you want to determine, you know, this voltage divided by current, which you connect across the load, now you can, you can, you can, you can, you know, obtain this. And this is how you can calculate the Thionin resistance. So let's understand by a simple circuit. If this is a linear circuit connected with a load, this will be replaced by 
shown in voltage in series with resistance and then finally connect the load and then when you are interested to determine the load current it is you know using the simple kvl vth divided by rth plus rn and when you are interested to determine determine the load voltage across rn it is rl into il and il is vth divided by rth plus rl so let's take one example of theory equivalent circuit you see there is a network where we have two sources there is a voltage source of 32 volt and there is a current source of 2 ampere right so when you are deter when you are interested to determine the theory voltage what is the way this current source look at here it has become open circuit and this voltage source has been replaced by a short circuit so you can see 4 has become in parallel with 12 and in series with 1 so the Thevenin resistance is the resistance seen by the load it is 1 plus 4 in parallel with 12 look at here and you will get 4 what about the Thevenin voltage that is open circuit voltage if it is open circuit voltage no current will enter here so just assume anything you can use maze nodal analysis so if i assume this current as i1 this current as i2 you know i can simply write 32 as you know 4 32 minus this voltage is vth because this is also vth because there is a no drop across one so 32 minus vth you know divided by 4 is your i1 and this can also be or this i1 and what is i2 this side it is going as 2 if you sum this two, it is VTH divided by 12, this current, and this is VTH divided by 12, and you will get Thionin voltage as 30 volt. Final equivalent circuit is 30 volt in series with resistance 4 ohm, and you can connect finally the load resistance. When you are interested to determine the current through the load, voltage across the load, or power in the load, you can calculate anything when you have Thionin voltage and Thionin resistance. What about Norton theorem? This is again the property of the network must be same, the network must be linear and what is important in Norton theorem that we replace by a current source in series with a resistance. This is a Norton current in parallel with, not series sorry, in parallel with the resistance and how to determine the Norton current? As I told you it's a dual to Thionin theorem. So Thionin voltage how do you determine? Open circuit voltage. So Norton current will be nothing but the short circuit current across the load and Thionin resistance is same as the Norton resistance. So how to do that? Thionin resistance is equal to Norton resistance and how to determine the Norton current? This is one way that just short circuit the load and determine the current here flowing through the load. What is the maximum current? Or there is other way of calculating it that is Thionin voltage you can determine divided by R Thionin or R Norton it will give you the Norton current that is also possible. Let's take one example. Let us uh, you know try to calculate Norton resistance it is the same this will become short circuit and this will become open circuit you see here 8, 4 and 8 will become series all in all will be in series in parallel with 5 so you see here 5 in parallel with 8 plus 4 plus 8 it will be 4 ohm which is the Norton resistance and what about the Norton current let us make this load as the short circuit so this 5 will also become short circuit look at here so this whatever we are writing I2 is nothing but your IN and what is I1 here is 2 ampere let's assume that and writing a simple equation I1 is 2 ampere and then you can write one KVL see here 8 4 8 what current is flowing that is I2 so it is 20 I2 minus I1 is in opposite direction 4 I1 minus 12 equals 0 where I1 is given and I2 is your IN because this 5 is becoming short circuit because short circuit is in parallel with 5 ohm. So you will get your I2 as 1 ampere is an Norton current. So like this you can finally get the equivalent circuit 1 ampere in parallel with 4 ohm. And the alternative way of determining is you can also calculate open circuit voltage across this right uh, you can just uh, write down the loop equations and finally i3 is 2 ampere write down 1 kvl here you see here 5 8 4 8 all current is i4 so 25 i4 minus 4 i3 because it is in opposite direction minus 12 equals to 0 you can calculate i4 and 5 into i4 is your open circuit voltage and when you determine open circuit voltage thionic resistance is already with you you will get 1 ampere. So this is the alternative way of calculating the Norton current as well. So as you can see that Norton, equal, Norton theorem and Thionin theorem are very interesting, very important theorems. 
which are used to simplify you know complex and bigger networks into a simple circuit having voltage source in series with a resistance in case of thionine and a current source in series in parallel with resistance in case of not an equivalent circuit. Uh, if you like this video, if you comment on this video, if you really like and give your feedback, I would love to do more and more problems, you know, on Thionin, both Thionin and Norton theorems. Thank you so much. If you really like the video, spread with, you know, with your peers, your friends, and please do not subscribe. Uh, do not forget to subscribe the channel. Uh, thank you so much. Good luck.